Welcome back guys, JC here, and I feel like we're far enough into the Bale Heli playlist uh, for me to give you a good understanding of how everything works, what everything does. If you haven't been watching the playlist, then look in the top right of your screen or description below, and I will leave those links for you. So just like in the other videos where I show you how to connect, I'm going to plug in my USB, click connect, plug in a LiPo battery, and then read setup must do it in that order can't stress it enough okay so uh, just like I mentioned in the other videos this is the layout of the BL Heli S ESC's which would be something like multi shot and now we have D shot I'm going to run through this really quick and show you how I set mine up uh, but if you want a more detailed explanation of what every little thing does then all you have to do is click BL Heli info manuals if you have one shot 125 ESC's then you'll click the Rev14.x, if you have multi-shot and the upcoming D-shot, then you'll click Rev16.x. Uh, let me go ahead and click that. Now, one thing you should know is uh, one-shot 125, currently the firmware is up to like 14 point something, and BLHeli S, or multi-shot ESCs, started off on 16.0. So I, I would imagine they're going to stop making one shot 125 ESCs very soon because uh, the firmware updates come out very often and once they hit 15.9 they they kind of have to stop. They're forced to stop I would imagine because they can't go to 16.0 because it's already taken from BL Heli S. Uh, Alright so startup power. I leave this on 0.5. Uh, some guys increase this. I have really never found a reason to so I leave it there. Temperature protection, this can shut down your ESC if it gets too hot, but uh, two things about that, your ESC has to have the hardware and to be able to do that, and not all ESCs have that hardware to you know measure temperature and stuff, but it doesn't really matter, I've never had an ESC overheat. Uh, now they probably can overheat if your PID tune is like crazy off, I have seen some cases of that, but I've, I've never personally experienced it. Uh, but either way, I just leave this set to the uh, default 140 degrees Celsius. Low RPM power protect. Uh, you can leave, you can turn this on or off. It doesn't matter. This is really only going to apply to uh, the, like the really large multi rotors with the really big but low kV motors, uh, and that the guys that are using like low voltages and stuff. Us, you know, smaller builds made for acrobatic flying and racing, you, this won't ever apply to you. Motor direction. I know a lot of guys change their motor direction by flip-flopping the wires f between the motor and ESC. What I do is just straight solder those wires on without crisscrossing them, and I change my motor direction through uh, the BL Heli Suite. I'll actually do a separate video showing you how to do that. Uh, DMAG compensation. I I'm not going to go into that, I just leave it set to low. Motor timing. Uh, one common myth is the more timing the better, the more performance you're going to get. That is absolutely not true. Uh, the motor timing, is think of it as the motor timing of a car. They are exactly the same. Uh, and what I mean by that is, I can't remember the, de the degrees off the top of my head, degrees of uh, timing advance, but a matter of fact, we can find it right here. Here it is. Uh, so low, medium, low, medium, medium, high, all that. That's going to be 0, 7.5, 15, 22.5, and 30 degrees timing advance. Just like a car. And uh, automotive racing is also, that's actually my main hobby. A matter of fact, this is my car. I do race it. And I can tell you that uh, just like on a car, you can have too much timing, too much timing advance. And that can actually hurt you. Uh, with a car, you can actually lose horsepower by advancing the timing too much. And I will say the same thing apply, applies here. If you give it too much motor timing, you will lose performance. Personally, what I would say the majority of my builds, it likes a medium-high timing. Uh, but you, that's something you will have to play around with. It's either going to be medium or medium-high. Some guys... Like I said, some guys think that high works the best. Maybe it does. Maybe that's just something in their he in their head. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I personally use medium high. Uh, PPM min throttle and max throttle. 
uh, I will actually talk about these a lot more in the upcoming videos whenever we calibrate ESCs. I will actually do two, well really three separate videos. One video on one shot 125, I will do a separate video for multi shot, and once D shot is finalized, I will do a, another video for that. If you're watching this video in the future, then I probably have that D shot video up. So just check the playlist out and you'll probably find it there. Uh, break on stop, I leave this off. Basically, it's what it sounds like, a break on stop uh, using electricity to break your motors. Now, don't get that confused with uh, the active braking or whatever people are calling it nowadays. Uh, one shot 125, you can turn that on and off but with multi-shot you can't it's always on so don't think that this is that the active brake dampening or damping damped whatever they, the hell you want to call it this is not that um it just know that it's already turned on and you can't turn it off with bl -Hell -Yes. beep strength this is going to be the volume of the beeps once you plug your lipo battery in uh, you can increase the volume by increasing this value uh, beacon strength this is actually going to be the volume of, uh, let me first explain beacon delay. I don't use buzzers on my flight controllers. I know every flight controller has pins or ports for a buzzer, but what I do instead is set my delay to two minutes. And after two minutes, if with the motors not running at all, then your ESCs will start beeping. And you can choose the volume here. That is your beacon strength. Uh, now, as far as uh, these right here, these are your four motors. The blue means that that is your master ESC. What does master ESC mean? Nothing, it's just the first ESC. Green means that that ESC, is the settings, all of them are exactly like the master. Orange means that there's something different from these ESCs to the master. If you're not sure what uh, is different, like you have the orange colors and you want to know what's different from these to the master, all you have to do is go to ESC overview and whatever is different will be highlighted. Uh, so the only, in the only way my two and three ESC is different is I have reversed the motor direction. Uh, but you know, just like if you accidentally set anything different on any of these, it's going to be highlighted in this light blue color and then you know exactly what's different. Now as far as making changes, you can make changes all throughout here and then once you are done making your changes you'll click right setup. Uh, so for example, let's just do, I already had it on medium but we'll just do medium high, right setup and it's going to say right ok. If it, sometimes every now and then you will get right OK for like three out of four ESCs, and then it will say one of them failed. In that case, just go back and try right setup again. You might have to try it two or three times. If you try it three times or more, or more than three times, then that probably means there's something wrong with your ESC. It might be damaged in some way. Either that or the wire is disconnected, or uh, the actual wire is broken inside of the rubber jacket where you can't see it. In that case, I would just try replacing your signal wire. Uh, now, uh, so that was how to make changes to all four ESCs. If you only want to make a change to one ESC, for example, motor direction, then you will right click that ESC. And notice how these three turned off. Now if I make this change and then right setup, it's going to say, it's only going to write to that one ESC then you can just click on these, turn them back on, and then you can right click, so that's a normal motor di direction, and then I set that one to normal. This one is going to be reversed, and this one will be normal. So let me just set that one back real quick. Okay, now uh, the motors tab. You can actually test your motors here by checking I understand the risk. Make sure you don't have propellers on, and you can increase this. And you can also calibrate ESCs, which will be the upcoming videos after this one. Make interfaces. You won't ever have to mess with this. This was something of the past. Uh, I mean, the way we are talking to the ESCs right now is through the flight controller, through the, it's called the BL Heli pass-through. And this, is, this has only been around for a year or so. 
But before the BL Heli pass through was a thing, you used to have to use uh, stuff like this, like an Arduino or uh, tool sticks or other type of you know things like these to actually flash and make changes to your ESCs. And that does it guys, so check out the link I left for you in the description below, and I will see you in the next videos.